I honestly think the internet has wrecked the WWE and the IWC. Here's why. My name is Toby Emu, and I, I saw a comment the other day about WWE, and you know, everybody is always saying, you know, WWE now sucks. PG sucks. It's all John Cena's fault. It sucks. It sucks. It sucks. It sucks because the writers are fucking stupid, and Eric Panowski, the guy who got fired, is a fucking idiot, and he deserves to be fired for the Fatal 4-Way match to face The Undertaker, and that was his idea. It, a big part of why the WWE sucks now, and the comment was about, like, you know, the predictability in the WWE, it's all predictable. It's all predictable. Well, no shit, when you read the spoilers on Tuesday, and you know what's going to happen on Friday, no shit it's predictable. And I, I want to make this clear because I'm not defending WWPG. WWPG has its moments and it has its down points. I'm not going to defend it and, you know, go preach about the Attitude Era. I love the Attitude Era. It was wild and crazy, but at the same time, my parents, like, didn't want me to watch it, which made it cooler and made me want to watch even more. But let's be honest here. I, it, it, I don't know if it would change too much because the guys like The Rock, Stone Cold Steve Austin, Kurt Angle, all the guys back then, their enthusiasm, their character, their build, I don't think spoilers would have necessarily wrecked them. But, you know, if you have a cash in or, you know, all the stories about, you know, backstage, Brock Lesnar is there and you see a picture of Brock Lesnar and it kind of wrecks it. So when Brock comes out, you're like, okay, I already knew he was coming out. Imagine if you knew back years ago when the corporation was going up against um, Stone Cold. And Stone Cold comes out with that beer truck. If you knew, if you read on the internet that day that there was a beer truck and there's a source saying that a beer truck was going to spray him down and then it happened, you'd be like, oh, that's fucking awesome, you know, but I, I knew it was going to happen. The internet, in a way, has wrecked the WWE. I, I don't care what you say. Honest to God, if social media, uh, rumor sites were fully prevalent back in the Attitude Era, some of the magic would have been lost. Honest to God. You can sit there and defend it all you want or hate on the PG era, but let's be honest here. If back in these days, and I, I make it sound like it was so, so long ago, but you know, back before Twitter, Facebook, all these you know rumor sites, picture it. The, the Kurt Angle milk truck. Um, the, uh, I, I can't even you know, think of all these examples that would have been wrecked. The spoilers of returns. Guys coming back, etc. You know, Royal Rumble returns. Just imagine how much duller it would have been. And, you know, it's partially our fault for, you know, reading on the internet, but it's so hard to avoid spoilers anyway. And I know we're in the, the minority. I know I know a lot of people are saying, Tubby, yeah, but the majority of people don't watch spoilers or go to websites. And, you know, I, I agree. I understand that concept of it, but still. We, from our own volition of creating a society have kind of wrecked the magic and mystique of, pro of professional wrestling, along with Eric Penowski, because that guy's a fucking idiot, and, and Linda McMahon, whose Senate campaign sucks. You know, I'm, I, I'm not against them pulling out swearing to make it more family-friendly, but let's be honest here. The internet has just wrecked WWE. WWE pimps out social media and wants it to be so socially active, but finding out about all the spoilers and stuff just kind of wrecks it. So storylines need to get more advanced, they need to get better. WWE needs to get better. But um, it's not all WWE's fault. We as a society have contributed to the downfall of WWE in the PG era. That's all. That's all I wanted to say. Leave a like button if you guys could.